Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to be talking about how I can graph a box plot using Desmos. And we'll also talk about a few properties of a box plot. So a box plot is a visual representation of a data set. So we talked about in a prior video how we can plot a data set. So the first thing we're going to do is over here on line one, we are going to say D equals and we are going to use a bracket on our calculator and then here you should be given this prompt your element list so that's just your list of data so we're going to use a few numbers here so we have 9 7 11 7 4 10 6 2 0 and 7. So what's really nice about Desmos is they will tell you how many numbers are in your list. This has 10 elements. So I know that there are 10 numbers here. So if I wanted to find the mean or the average, I could add these up and I know that I'm going to divide by 10. So there are, with a box plot, it uses what is called the five number summary. And that first number is the minimum. So here we're going to type in min and we want the minimum of the data set and that value is zero. Next, it, we're going to look for the lower quartile. Now, it depends on what book you're using. Some people say lower quartile, some people say quartile one. So here, we're gonna type in quartile, and if I type in quartile one, nothing happens. So, okay, all right, well, that's a problem. All right, well, it doesn't know the quartile of what. You see right here I, how I have the minimum of the data set? So here, I want the quartile of the data set, and I'm gonna use a comma to show that I want the first quartile of the data set, and that's gonna give me four. So that's how we do that. And then the next value with the five number summary is the median. So here, we just type in median, and that value is going to be seven. Next, we have quartile three. So we have quartile, I want the quartile of the data set. I'm gonna use a comma and I'm gonna use the number three to show that I want the third quartile. And that value with this data set is gonna be nine. And then lastly, we have a max. So I want a max of the data set and that is 11. So these five values give us the parameters on how to draw a box plot. So here in Desmos, if we type in box plot, and then we say use the data set D, we get this box plot here. Now, one great thing about Desmos is it gives you this option right here, zoom fit. We're gonna click that and it's gonna zoom in on our box plot. Now, depending on how they have this, you may not like that this is counting by even numbers. Cause let's say you wanted to know what the value of this number is. You can come up here to your wrench icon and then on the X axis, we want this to step by one. And I know that also changes the grid and now this looks very busy. Well, you can remove that by clicking here. So now this looks much better. We could even zoom in further if we wanted to. Notice how this is a lot of empty space. We don't really need negative two, negative four, or negative six. So right here under Y axis, let's make that minimum value say negative one, and you'll already notice how I've zoomed in. Now we have all this empty space up here. So we can make the Y values stop at say three. And now we have a much more zoomed in image of our box plot. And you'll notice that these values all come from our five number summary. The smallest value on my box plot is zero. The box right here, this line represents quartile one. And notice how that's on four just like quartile one. Right here, the middle or the line that draws down in the box, this is referred to as your median. Notice how that's seven, just like it is here. The edge of the rectangle is nine, that's quartile three. And then our largest value was 11, okay? Now, one thing about a box plot that's very handy to know, each section, this section here, 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 and here, all represent 25% increments. So let's refer to this data. Let's say that we have an, a rock star track team, and this is how many miles different runners ran one day during track practice, okay? So let's say I had a question and I wanted to know what percentage of the track team ran four miles or more during this track practice. Well, I could start here at four 
and then that's one section, so one quartile, two quartiles, three quartiles, or three sections. Each one is 25%, so 75% of the team that day ran four miles or more. Or if I wanted to know what percentage of the team ran between four and nine miles, that would be 50% because it's two quartiles, right? Quartile, quarter, meaning four. So box plots are very handy and help us interpret percentages of data sets. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.